In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply two radicals together that don't have a matching index using properties of rational exponents. We can't multiply radicals together if the index doesn't match without doing a little bit of work to set them up. First, we will change these radicals into rational exponents. The index represents the denominator on each fraction. So, on each exponent, sorry. Right now, we've got a to the first and b squared under a third root. So now, making that third root a denominator, we've got one-third and b to the two-thirds. Similarly, under the fourth root, we've got a squared and b to the first. The a squared becomes a to the two-fourths, and the b to the first becomes b to the one-fourth. If we want to combine these together under a single a or a single b, what we need to first do is get a common denominator on our fractions so that we can add the fractions together. We see the common denominator on everything is 12, and so the denominator of 3 needs to be multiplied by 4 over 4, giving us a to the 4 twelfths. Again, 4 over 4 to get a denominator of 12, b to the 8 twelfths. On the second a, to get a common denominator of 12, we're going to multiply by 3, giving us 6 twelfths. And on the b's, multiplying by 3 gives us 3 twelfths. What you may notice is now every denominator is a denominator of 12. They all have the same denominator, and so we can write this in radical form with that denominator or index of 12, leaving behind a to the 4th, b to the 8th, a to the 6th, b to the 3rd. And now, we can quickly add our exponents together on a's and b's. 4 plus 6 is a to the 10th, and b, 8 plus 3, is b to the 11th. And we have multiplied our radicals together to get our product of the 12th root of a to the 10th, b to the 11th. Let's look at how we could shortcut that process, though. In order to combine under the common index, we needed a common denominator. What we could do is looking at our original problem, the cube root of a b squared times the fourth root of a squared b, is we can look at our indexes of 3 and 4 and find a common index in much the same way we found a common denominator between 3 and 4. If we want a common index of 12, we need to multiply the first radical by 4. Whoops. Multiplying the exponents and the index by 4 gives us the 12th root of a to the 4th. The exponent's 1. 1 times 4 is 4. b to the 4 times 2 is 8. Similarly, on the other radical, under the fourth root, if we want to get a twelfth root, we need to multiply the index and the exponents by 3. This gives us a to the 2 times 3, or 6, and b to the 1 times 3, which is 3. And that puts everything under the twelfth root, and we'd be ready to add the same exponents that we added before. a to the 4 plus 6 is 10, and b to the 8 plus 3 is 11 all under the twelfth root, giving us the same answer we had before. To multiply radicals together, then, of mixed index, where the index does not match, we simply have to identify the common index and multiply each radical to build up the index by some missing factor. When we multiply by this factor, we multiply both the index and the exponents by the same value.